Good evening guys, welcome to week 12, day 2. So, this is a recovery week on top of a recovery week from Buffalo. Uh, I've decided I really want to get the most out of my active April uh, gym membership. Uh, well, it's more than just for April, it's for however long I'm going to keep doing these training programs for. Uh, so, I am walking down to the gym, I am going to do, the goal is three to five miles, I might as well do this a sixth mile and make it a 10k run, uh, so I'll do that, then I have to do some core exercises, uh, for privacy I'm not going to be doing any recording in the gym, just I don't want to intrude in people's workouts. Uh, after the core exercises, I really want to smash those out today and see if I can try some new exercises and go from there. After the exercises, I will be jumping in the sauna for a little bit. I really want to see if that does help improve, like just help get shit out of your body basically. Just cleanse yourself a bit, which I guess what running in the mountains does. Uh, so yeah, and after that's done, hit the showers, get changed, walk back home. So technically I'm doing more than required today, especially if I take into account how many steps I do at work. But it was only 9 till 4 today. But I just felt really tired. And very hungry. Like, I was just ravenous for lunch. And it's like, I had a late brew. Um, didn't really have yoghurt though. I forgot my yoghurt today. That's probably why. And then lunch was supposed to be 2 hours later. But then I ended up going like another hour or two after that because I was doing some orders with someone. And yeah, by the time we finished those massive orders, I was like, oh my God, need food. I was about to go get Maccas or something. Then I'm like, nah, have my tuna, have my beans, have my nice protein, have some, I had a lot of fruit, I had like, the most most sour apple it was very different um, and then I also had another tuna thing someone's calling me <sighs> okay change of plans I am now working tonight <laughs> so I'm going to work at six so what's this time ten to five now I wonder if I should try and get a quick run in no I'll just go home I'll do a run after work um, yeah by the time I do all that I'll just do a run after work tonight. I'll just do a nighttime run, just cruise the streets. So yeah, it's going to be a late video for you guys tonight. Uh, see ya later, I guess. Bye. So you might recognize this uh, spot from where I was recording yesterday on my way to the gym. So I still haven't done my run from last night. But having a look at my training program, today is either a three to five mile run. No, yesterday was a three to five mile run that I was going to do 10Ks for. And today was five miles or 45 minutes of cardio. So I'm going to do like a, I guess it's a biathlon, is it? Or duathlon. <laughs> dodgy something one of the two as you can tell I'm not that uh, known for that sport so what I'm going to do is go to the gym I'm walking there as you can tell 
and I will run on the treadmill for whatever maybe 10 k's just a nice easy pace I might do like 5.30 to 6 minute k's um, after that I'm going to do some core exercises and then I shall go down for a swim for about 30 minutes and then after that I'll hit the sauna for 10 to 15 minutes <laughs> alright thanks guys Salutations, really weary travellers. Oh, so it was quite interesting using the treadmill for 10Ks. Uh, at the start, um, I was doing a, just a bit over six minute pace per kilometre for like the first K. And then I sped it up to about 550 pace. After that, it was like I was trying to play catch up with the... Uh, six minute average pace so i think it took me till the seventh k uh to catch up and then well now sixth k even so it was only just getting up and then i decided oh yeah the last two k's i'll do it a sub five minute pace so the first k i was doing 450 pace for like kilometer eight then kilometre nine, I decided I'd halfway through, I put it to a 4.30 pace. And then the last 200 metres, I was doing a sub four minute pace. And it actually felt quite good to do that. Um, didn't really have much confidence in my ability to run that fast for some reason. I know I should be able to, but it's like when you're doing such long runs at a really slow pace, it's like, you forget what kind of pace you can do for a smaller run like a 10k or something so at least i've got a distance pb on the treadmill today of 10.4 kilometers in like 56 minutes something so it's six minutes away from my fastest 10k <laughs> which is kind of ridiculous so i think next time i need to give myself a kick up the ass but at the same time i'm supposed to be doing an easier run uh, there were some Sheilas behind me at the gym and I think I heard them saying it's uh, ridiculous I don't know if they were talking about me running that long on a treadmill or whatever and <laughs> or whatever me being paranoid I guess or boasting about myself <laughs> uh, anyway I've had a swim I didn't swim for too long only about half an hour so I only did about 20 to 25 laps so maybe a bit under a mile I'm guessing a bit over a k I don't know I'm not good when it comes to distance with the pools um yeah just remembering I've got a six o'clock start at work tomorrow so it's like I didn't feel like swimming anymore and I knew I had to get in here have my sauna and I'll probably be in here for 10 minutes, uh, 10 to 15 max, I'd say 5 to 15 max. <laughs> um, not that stubborn when it comes to sitting in here for so long, uh, but they do have a limit of uh, staying in here for 15 minutes. Anyway, I'll get this video up tonight. Tomorrow is Thursday, I think it's just a rest or recovery day, don't need to do anything. Which sounds alright. Alright, thanks for watching guys. How much in here can you actually see? Oh yeah, you can see a little bit. I couldn't see when I was just looking at myself. So sweaty. Anyway, have a good time guys. Bye. Oh, trying to stay in here for 10 minutes is even hard. It's been like a bit over 5 minutes and it's like... Oh, I think I might just get out, have a shower, get changed, and then head on back. Maybe for sitting in here for ages, I think. It's like eight minutes I've been in here. That's enough. <laughs>